forward. Now we got Mississippi Valley here for homecoming. Just talk about this weekend's matchup. Well, I tell you, you know, it's uh, it's another one of those uh, conference opponents that's that's going to be tough. You know, um, you know they're getting better every week, and uh, and they're coming in here, you know, highly motivated. You know, knowing that, you know, that we're playing them for homecoming, and uh, they're 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 in a situation where their back is against the wall, and they don't have anything to lose. So. Um, you know, very, very pleased with, you know, the direction in which they're going. You know, I tell you, the league is really, it's really, there's a lot of parity in this league. And, you know, at any, any given day, anybody can, uh, can beat anyone, you know, and actually you've seen that happen, you know, this year. So uh, we're looking forward to the matchup. I think the thing that's probably most important for us is to, is to understand that, you know, we have to focus on, on uh, preparation and also playing a really good football game this weekend. Uh, because there's going to be a lot of distractions this week with a lot of family and friends and, and uh, former uh, students that will be here on campus all this week. So uh, it's going to be a challenge. It's going to be a test for us, uh, you know, to see where we are character-wise. Uh, but I think we have a chance to, uh, to do a good job this week. What do you tell the team to kind of keep their, their blinders on for homecoming like that? Well, you know, it's really, really tough, you know, because, um, you know, college students want to have a good time also, you know, and, and last time I checked, our football players were college students too. So, uh, you know, the thing that's tough is is to try to get them to understand that uh, they have to see the light at the end of the tunnel and understand that, you know, uh, we have to remain focused and do what we're supposed to do so we can be prepared, you know, for this weekend. So there will be a lot of, you know, things going on around them. Uh, but for us, you know, we have to we have to focus on, on the task at hand before, you know, we can enjoy anything this weekend. You know, with these guys being, you know, 18 to 22 year olds, I mean, you and I've talked about it plenty of times before. You know, it's you have to make sure they're in the right mind frame. Mm -hmm. With you guys having to, you know, sort of go from the last four years of being, look, we're the guy that everybody wants to knock off every single Saturday to, you know, you guys losing a conference game this year. With that narrative shift, how you just been able to handle that, you know, inside the locker room and with the guys this year? Well, I think I think it handles itself. You know, when when you when you have a certain approach, you know, um, you know, at, at the time when we were, you know, undefeated, you know, we never took the approach as being the top dog. We always took it one week at a time, and we always focused on getting better every week. And and I think that's been the, the same thing. You know, you have to remain consistent in your approach. So what we're speaking to them is the same things. You know, now it's 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 about continuing to get better every week, and that has no bearing on whether you're you've won a couple games or not. You still want to improve every week. Uh, so that's, that's, that's always the goal is to improve every week. You know, uh, when you take the mindset, you know, that we've arrived, then, you know, that's when you'll get knocked off, you know. So, so for us, we're always preparing uh, for the next week and the next opponent to get better and better every week. We never want to stay the same, uh, you know, because to stay the same means that you're going backwards. So that's just always been our approach, you know, is to try to, Try to get better every week. Do you feel like you've seen that so far this season? Do you, are you happy with progressions up to this point every week? Uh, I'm not happy, uh, but I do see you know us moving in a different direction. Sometimes it's it's one position moving uh, a notch better, and then it's another position maybe taking a step back. You know, but but I also understand growth, and um, you know even in my own life, you know when you. When you're trying to become a better, a better human being, you know there are times in life where, you know, you're gonna make steps forward in one area of your life, and then you think you've arrived in another area, and you end up, you know, dropping the ball in that area. But eventually, it kind of all clicks and kind of all comes together, and uh, and I think that's that's the same approach when it comes to a team, is you know we'll take steps forwards in in different areas, uh, but then there there are weeks where you know we'll we'll take a step back. Uh, but I think all in all, you know, it's, it's all working out for our good. Uh, offensively in the first quarter this past week, it was obviously a slow start. Yes. Is putting points on the board quickly an emphasis this weekend? Well, every week it is. You know, you always want to put points on the board quickly because you want to force, you know, the defense to, to be in a bind, uh, their defense and their offense to be in a bind and do something differently. So, uh, you know, my, my focus has always been, you know, try to apply as much pressure as we can early. Uh, because we want to make teams one-dimensional and when you make them one-dimensional and then you play to our strengths and uh, and that's always been our focus you know uh, it, it hasn't worked out as well as it needs to be but 
Uh, but I think, you know, uh, we have the right players in place and we just have to continue to work with them to get them to understand, you know, what we're trying to do. We spoke with uh, Dan Fields after the game on Saturday and, and I asked him about, you know, the way the game ended on Saturday and, and just all the excitement that came once the ref over, overturned that call. And uh, he answered the question by saying, we needed that. Mm -hmm. um, the overturned we, call? Well, we a needed... Good call. <laughs> <laughs> the correct call. <laughs> Well, but I think he was ultimately saying that, you know, a game that ended in that sort of excite, exciting fashion, and he said, I think the team needed to see that. Do you agree with that? And, and how can a, a way a game ended like that in a positive way affect this team going forward? Well, uh, I mean, of course our team needed to see. Our team, our coaches, our fans, everyone needed to see, you know, us get that call. You know, we needed to see that, you know, if you know what I mean. Uh, but, um, you know, it's just one of those situations, you know, where, um, you know, uh, a play was made and our kids, you know, kept fighting and kept uh, and kept getting after it. And, uh, and we were fortunate, you know, uh, at the end of the day, you know, we were fortunate to get the victory. Uh, that team is not, um, when you look at them, they're not a, a regular <laughs> one and six, one and seven football team. Uh, they have gotten significantly better. Uh, and I think, you know, uh, you know, with the discipline that's been put in because uh, I think the first couple of weeks or so, he, he had an issue where uh, he had to, you know, bench some kids, you know, for curfew and things like that. So I think they're starting to get the picture and, and they're starting to turn the corner. They're going to be, you know, a force to be reckoned with in the future. What does it mean to grind out a win like that? Because oftentimes you, know, you can win by a big margin, you can win by a small margin, but to grind it out the way that you guys were able to do had to say a lot about the character of the team and not quit. Well, I mean, that's been us every week, you know, <laughs> and, um, and we've grinded out, you know, um, you know, for the last three or four weeks, we've grinded those, those, uh, those games out. Um, and, uh, you know, we feel, you know, we just have to keep going, you know, whatever happens, happens. And there's nothing we can do about, you know, the things that take place, uh, especially when you put yourself in position to win those ball games. Mm -hmm. uh, so, you know, uh, uh, I think the thing that we can do is is to is to try our best to uh, to to create a create an environment again where uh, where it's not you know up to those last couple of plays or or a, an opinion uh, or anything like that you know we have to take the opinions out of it and and just focus on doing the things that we need to do where uh, where it becomes us you know winning the football game. Obviously, uh, totally different moods after you know, all corn versus after this past week. Do you think that, you know, kind of bouncing off of this, that win gave a spark plug to this team at a good time? Well, I hope so. You know, um, you know, anytime you, you know, you don't play well and you don't win a ball game, you know, it, it, the mood is going to always be, you know, as such, you know, and then when you win ball games, it's going to be, you know, different. That's just, that's just the game. You know, the good thing about it is we were fortunate to come out, you know, on the, on the positive end of it. And, 50% of the teams, you know, go through that. You know, I've been on the other side, you know, where we've had an overtime, you know, uh, loss that way. So uh, that's just the game, you know. And and the thing that's interesting about, you know, about this profession, coaching, you can, you can, you can work and do a hell of a job and do the best job you possibly can do, and and you don't play well, you know. And then you can do uh, what you feel is a terrible job and you can be dominant. So. It's it's a crazy business, you know. But at the end of the day, it's it's uh, it's what we chose to do. Working on a feature on Jeremy uh, from the his, his leadership, uh, the way he approaches it. Uh, how would you describe it? And also, how much do you feel like um, you know where he grew up and his background sort of factors into that? Well, it, that, that factors into a lot of the way Jeremy is. You know, Jeremy is a special young man. You know, uh, and. And the thing that's interesting about him is, um, you know, he comes across as, you know, a soft, uh, you know, maybe kind of brutal type of young man, but he's just a quiet young man that's focused. Um, there's not a guy that's, that's, that's tougher on our team than, than Jeremy. Jeremy's a tough, tough player. And, uh, and he's a confident guy, but you wouldn't think he is. Uh, but, you know, I think, you know, he's a sophomore, and I think his future is, is, is going to be pretty doggone good. You know, there's some things that we have to iron out, uh, but, um, but that's part of being a sophomore, you know, in this offense. I mean, you look at the fact that, you know, over the last four weeks, you know, we have, you know, we, we've had over 470-something yards of total offense in the last four weeks. 
and you know throwing for over 270 plus yards you know per week um, you know that says a lot about the growth that we've made uh, now there are other areas that we have to get better at you know the turnovers and mistakes and things of that nature uh, because those type of things get you in a bind but I think a lot of those mistakes that are happening has to do with with him trying to make a play really trying to do something and 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 sometimes the only way that you can become that guy is you have to put yourself out there and experience those heartaches and that's just part of life you know that's part of it so um, there are a lot of people that go to work every day but their mistakes aren't in front of a lot of people you know uh, we're in a business where our mistakes are and uh, we're mad enough to you know to continue to come back to work and do it every day and fix it and that's and to me that's the type of people I like being around um, I think Brooks had the most total offensive yards this past weekend. What did you like mm -hmm. about his performance and just kind of seeing him do a little bit more production? Well, you know, you know, Brooks is a is a very dynamic kid, a dynamic player, and he's just that Hickbottom and, and Brooks are the same type of people. They're not going to talk much, but they're tough, tough and, and physical guys. And um, you know, the thing that I like about him is uh, he can beat you in many different ways. He can beat you in a kicking game. Uh, he can beat you on offense, running the football, and also receiving the football. And, uh, and that's what I like about his game. Uh, he's very versatile, but he's also extremely intelligent. Uh, he plays in several different places for us, you know, and, and he has to know all of those spots, you know, in order to, to be effective. And uh, just a really, really good young man. Um, you know, uh, we have a lot of guys like him in our program, um, and, and those are the type of guys you want, you know, guys that – are not going to complain. You, they're going to play and they're going to give their, their best effort every week. And uh, it was good to see him, you know, break out and make a couple plays and, and make some big plays, you know, for our team. Yeah. Speaking of big plays, Linwood had that last fumble recovery yeah. touchdown, and he was he was so excited about it. It was so fun yeah. to see that on the sidelines. Just, uh, what were your thoughts, you know, when when that play happened for him? You know, I was, well, for me, I, I wasn't thinking about who it was. I was just glad that someone got it in the end zone because we were in a bind. And, um, and, you know, our defense had to dig deep. You know, they played a lot of plays last weekend. And, um, and to get that turnover at that time, that kind of shifted the momentum, uh, kind of helped us out a little bit, you know, and, and got us back where we were going because they had the momentum after the fumble that we had. And uh, we were going down to score and, and turn it over, and then they got it back, and then they turned it over. So I thought that was a pivotal point in the ball game uh, in helping us, you know, uh, to keep the momentum in our favor. Is that one of the guttier defensive performances that you've had since you took over here? I, I really don't know. I haven't assessed that. Um, but um, when it comes to you know not playing well, uh, but still digging it out and making some plays, uh, you know, comes to mind not only that fumble recovery, but also uh, you know Hogs ripping the ball from a guy. Um, you know, the thing that I like about us is we just keep playing. You know. Uh, you know, we make a lot of mistakes, you know, and, but we keep playing. And, and when you have guys like that, you have a chance. You know, uh, I, I, I can, you know, I heard, you know, Coach Taggart say, you know, in a press conference yesterday that, you know, that was one of the first time he's felt that his team quit on him. And, uh, and you know, and that's when you have to be concerned, you know, but um, we've never had that occur, you know, since I've been here. I've never seen our guys quit. And I think that's a testament to our players and also our assistant coaches.